know, you guys, I done made it home. I done washed my hands. And I'm going to start adding my pig feet to this pot. I'm just adding some um, warm water in it. I know most people like to use cold water. I just feel like cold, cold water don't get it clean enough. So I'm just doing some kind of warm and kind of cold um, water. And then I'm going to add in some apple cider vinegar and some lemon juice. And we're going to clean these pig feet. So I'm placing my pig feet in my water. Then I'm going to add my apple cider vinegar and my lemon juice. And we're going to clean these pig feet. just eyeball the amount of lemon juice that I want to pour in my water and the amount of vinegar that I want to pour in my water and then I'm going to show you guys how I clean my pig feet you see how this water is all that stuff that's in it guys you want to take a knife and you just want to scrape Get all that residue that be on those pig feet off. Look at that. You want to get as much as you can off. And once you're done scraping them, I'm going to wash them again in a separate pot. Now I'm just adding more water, lemon juice, vinegar, and I'm going to wash them off and rinse them really good to make sure there's no debris on it. I'm going to pull it out and repeat the steps twice, and then I'm ready to roll. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Now, after washing my pot out, I'm going to add in my green sofrito. All my measurements will be in the description box below and all my seasonings. I'm adding my seasonings. I'm going to mix well with uh, my bell peppers and onions. And we're going to get these pots to jumping, y'all. Right there on top of the moon, we could sit and do nothing. I wish we were both. I'm going to add in some vegetable oil along with my onion, my mixed bell peppers, my garlic, my green onions. And I'm just going to let this render down for about two minutes. Then I'm going to add in my pig feet. Y'all, it smells amazing in my kitchen. So let's keep these pots rolling. Now that all my vegetables has rendered down, I'm going to add in those beautiful pig feet. Let's not forget that I did buy two packs of soft meat. If you don't know what that is, it's just like chopped up haul malls, pig ears, pig tails, just pig parts, period. And I'm going to clean them off camera just like I did my pig feet. And I'm going to add them later on into the pot. So now I'm going to add in my liquid, you guys. I thought I had some vegetable broth, but I didn't. So I'm just going to add in some water. Once again, I'm just eyeballing it, you guys. And we're going to let this pot cook on down. 
Forgive me, you guys, by me trying to multitask. I forgot to add in my vinegar, which I'm doing right there, and some bay leaves. I cannot make a pig pot without putting all my ingredients in, right? So here I am just adding it in, guys, and I'm going to put a cover back on it. Okay, you guys, we're going to check on the pig feet. I'm going to add in that soft meat I was telling you guys about. And I'm just going to add it in the pot. I done washed it and cleaned it and seasoned it. Then we're going to let that cook down. And I'm going to make a roux, which I'm doing right here. And I'm just going to pour it into that good old pig pot, baby. Ain't no other way to say it. And I'm going to let that cook down and thicken up. I'm also going to add in some more onions and bell peppers, some more green onions, and some more seasoning. Let it cook down for about five minutes, and it should be ready, guys. Okay, guys, it's all finished. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm going to get a little bit for you guys so we can know how this tastes. Just a little. Oh, my boys are going to love this, guys. They love stuff like this. I know most people are like, yeah, I don't eat it, I don't eat it. Well, I do. And it's delicious, guys. Hold on, let me scoop the camera up. Guys, let's try it out. And see how it is, it's hot. Mm. Y'all see how tender that is though, baby, look, listen. And that flavor. What? I hope y'all enjoy seeing me make this. Uh, we call it a pig pot. Some people call it sow. Some people call it just pig feet. But I call it a pig pot. I hope y'all enjoy watching me make it. I hope you learned something from it. Um, it's up to you how you cook. You cook your own way. I cook what I know my kids going to eat. Period. But anywho, y'all, I'm finna light me some candles and enjoy the rest of my day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell for whenever your girl upload. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.